Welcome to Lab 11, Qualitative Analysis. So here's the deal. I have two tubes. I have tube 1 and I have tube 2. And in each of these, I have a nearly identical looking white crystalline solid. One of them is ionic. The other one, molecular. More specifically, one of them is sugar and one of them is salt. So, without tasting them, because that would not be safe, how could we figure out exactly which substance we have in each tube? So, you will be given these vials, and you'll have to determine which one contains sugar and which contains salt. Now, the first thing you got to do is, what are some properties of ionic solids? What are some properties of molecular solids? And then, to figure it out, create a hypothesis. If the substance is ionic, then what should happen and why? You're making your prediction. Then you're going to place a small quantity of substance 1 into a beaker and a small quantity of substance 2 into another beaker. Dissolve each salt with a small quantity of distilled water and then test the conductivity of each solution, cleaning off the conductivity tester between each trial. You will collect data as to whether substance 1 conducts electricity or not, and whether substance 2 conducts electricity or not. And then make your, make your conclusion. Does tube 1 have an ionic or molecular solid because it did or did not conduct electricity? And the same with tube 2. Once you've dealt with that, there's a couple of questions to finish it off, and that is your entire lab. So let's get on to the procedure. So here we have beaker 1 and beaker 2. Into beaker 1, I will place a small quantity of substance 1. I don't need much. And into the other beaker, I will place a small quantity of substance 2. Again, we don't need much. And now we are going to test their conductivities. But first, let's see what the conductivity of distilled water is without having anything dissolved in it. The conductivity tester's light will glow if it conducts electricity. If it only glows a little bit, then it's a poor conductor of electricity. If it glows brightly, then it's a strong conductor of electricity. That would be a dim glow. So that's what you would expect from a poor conductor. So now let's dissolve each of these substances in a little distilled water. Now get ready to test the conductivity. First, we will have a look at substance one. Bright glow or dim glow? Let's have a look at substance two. And there is substance two. Bright glow or dim glow? Go back and compare it with the previous one. So what you're looking for is which one glowed brighter. Now, I'm not going to tell you which one is ionic or molecular. You have to know which of the two is the better conductor of electricity. And based on this data, you can now determine which substance is salt, which is ionic, and which substance is sugar, which is molecular.